Welcome to Grave Concerns, where our mission is to preserve, protect, and remember the past. Today's Grave Concerns, Martha M. Harris Neff, a woman who had made significant contributions to her family and community during her lifetime. Martha M. Harris Neff was born on August the 1st, 1838 in Clinton County, Ohio. She was the daughter of Jonathan Harris and Eliza Hester. Martha married uh, Jesse Neff, who's buried right beside her, on uh, November 11th, 1860 in Franklin County, Ohio. And the couple had at least five children, Charles C., William Willis, Otto Warner, Warner, sorry, and Martha Omar Neff Bonner. And I think there was one unnamed. Uh, the family lived in Columbus, Ohio, where according to the 1880 census, Martha was primarily responsible for keeping the house while her husband was uh, worked as a farmer. So, um, like I said, sadly, uh, Martha's life was cut short. She passed away only at the age of 54. Uh, March 4th, 1893. Her cause of death was paralysis, which I looked that up as I guess that was an old time saying for stroke. Uh, she was, like I said, she was buried next to her uh, husband, Jesse, her son, William, and his wife, Ida. And I'm planning on cleaning their stones next. I was doing this one as a trial. So as you can see here, I, uh, first I wet the stone and if you guys aren't familiar with this, um, I'll, I'll go through it. If you are familiar with it, then this is just a repeat. And if you see something you don't like, let me know nicely. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you wet the stone, then I scraped off all the uh, algae and lichen that I could off of it. Uh, once I get all the algae and lichen uh, off of it, I spray it with um, D2, and I let it soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you try to um, scrub in a circular motion and um, rinse it and keep, keep, try to keep your brushes wet. Uh, no power washing. You don't power wash stones. That'd be the easy way to do it, but you're not allowed to power wash stones. You know, the, they say do no harm. So I, you only use water and the D2 biological solution has a neutral pH level there. So they, uh, D2. It has a neutral pH level. It's safe for the environment and it does clean the stones over time. Um, I use Tampico brushes which are soft bristle brushes and I guess the more you keep them uh, wet the softer they are but they do a good job of cleaning the stone and then this D2 uh, it will clean for months and even a year past the time that you do this so even though it's probably not the cleanest that it can be when I finish today go, when I come back I'm going to come back and do an update video in say three or four months this stone should be a lot whiter and a lot cleaner looking uh, that's the only thing about these is it takes a little bit of time to bring it back it won't be brand new but it will look a lot better than it does today so here I'm wetting trying to keep the brush wet and I'm going to start carrying around a bucket of, of water and just dipping my brush in the water instead of having to use that sprayer um, and there I'm scrubbing the sides the back I don't know if you've seen the picture at the beginning of this video the back was really covered with a lot of moss and um, it's sort of satisfying when you can rinse this like you see here and just rinse away all that uh, moss and, and uh, uh, lichen and stuff off the stones. Because that really hurts the stones. A lot of people say, oh, we like the look of the moss on there. But that moss gets into the pores of the stone and actually causes it to crystallize it and start to degrade. So keeping it clean is actually doing it uh, is better for it than to let that moss get um, into the stone. At least that's what I've been told. Heard me wrong. <laughs> but yeah, like we said, we soak it up really good, uh, rinse it, 
then I'm going to hit it again with some uh, D2 at the end and then just let time do its thing. So as far as uh, this cemetery, I found out, I've been doing a little family tree stuff. Uh, there's a lot of people in here that are related. What's amazing is there's a lot of people in here with the last name. And you notice when you go down the road, a lot of the, a lot of the names of the roads are the names of these people. So you know that they were probably some of the first people to live in this area. And uh, I just happened to do her stone first. But like I said, right beside her stone is her son, daughter-in-law, and her husband. And I'm going to do them probably next week if it's the weather's permitting. What else can I tell you? Uh, I've done three videos this week. I plan on doing a lot more of these. So if you have any comments or suggestions, I appreciate it. Um, I like doing this cleaning therapeutic to me I think it's beneficial to the, the person's stone I hope that they like it I hope they're family members you know like I said I don't know if they're not able if there's none left or what but I hope somebody appreciates that you know somebody's taking the time to clean these you know I'm, I don't do them out of um, you know to malice <laughs> I don't to you know try to preserve them I wish somebody would do that for me you know if my stone was like this so I try to be respectful now look at me I'm getting old and fat and I'm doing this trying to exercise too so it's a win-win here but uh, I usually have to use the stone to lift myself up to which is not the greatest but we won't try to do show too much of me cleaning on the back side just know that I did clean that one as good as I did the front when I looked at this cemetery I could probably do hundred different videos just in the cemetery of cleaning stones. I am moving this week. Um, there's another cemetery down the road from me. I have permission in this one to do all the cleanings of all the stones if that I want in here uh, from the township trustees. So I've got that going here. Um, I was told by the cemetery director of another cemetery that I need to go to their township trustees and ask permission. It's closer. I might do a combination of here and there. We'll see. Or they may tell me, no, I can't clean their stones there. Um, I try to do a lot of veterans. That's what I'm going to primarily focus on, veteran stones. I find that that marble just cleans up so nice when it's taken care of. said if you haven't please like comment and uh, subscribe to the channel let me know your thoughts I appreciate it I don't see if I'm going in the right direction with this and uh, hopefully uh, I will be able to uh, see you come back later thanks for watching